So I've had a lot of questions in my last several videos about how I'm getting the super ultra close-ups of the knife edges that I've been showing you on YouTube. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you my methods for capturing those amazing images. But first, I'm gonna show you a super cheap alternative to the method that I'm gonna show you later. This is an APS-C size sensor. So on the camera sensor itself, times 1.5 on different camera, is going to multiply that equals 35 millimeter because we're not using a, in simple terms, that's how we're getting such a close up image on what is essentially a 5X lens. I'm, I'm not doing a real good job of explaining this. So what is this method you may ask? Well, if I didn't just break it right there. This, this is a, uh, a relatively cheap this thing I think I think it's cost me like 14 bucks I don't know what the price is right now but this is a jewelry lupe lupe loop I, I don't know how to pronounce that and this will allow you to get super close-up view it's essentially a uh, a pocket magnifying glass that magnifies like 50x and it has a super cool LED this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I paid for this thing with my own money. These people have no idea who I am or what I'm doing, and uh, any of these things will work. But I use this thing all the time in my sharpening, and uh, let me show you sort of the uh, equivalent view of what this thing will give you uh, when you're looking through it. Okay, guys, so as close as I can tell, this is a, the approximate equivalent view to the... 30x on the jeweler's lupe. I know I'm not saying that right, so don't hate me. So it's about uh, 30x. Now let's go to the approximate 60x view. Okay. So what you're seeing now is the approximate image that you're going to get when you look through the 60x magnification window. So I'm actually basing this on how big this appears in my eye when I look through it and how big this appears in the frame when, you know, I have it on the, uh, the camera monitor. I know that's super scientific, but that's the only way that I know how to do it and give an equivalency rating for this type of thing. So now let's go to the 90X. This right here, I'm gonna show this to you in real size this is you know this is approximately what you're going to see looking through the 90x window this is uh it's not the maximum that this setup will go because i can use the megapixels on the camera to further crop in and zoom in on the image um, but this is at a this is a 5x uh macro lens that i have on this APS-C size uh, sensor camera and this is about what you're gonna see when you're looking through the 90X window on, well, this particular jeweler's lupe. Now, I will say that uh, this image that you're seeing right here is a whole lot clearer than what you're gonna see through here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and crop in on this image using uh, the, well, we're filming at 4K right now, so I'll be able to crop in about 4X until we're at 1080p resolution and uh, then what I'll do is I'm going to stop the recording I'm going to take a picture at 24 megapixels and hopefully that will allow us to zoom in even closer but it won't be a video it'll be a picture so this is a picture taken from a Sony a6400 it's about 24 megapixels and it is cropped into an unknown size in Final Cut Pro this is about as close as we can go although we could actually go a little bit closer but we will lose uh, quite a bit more quality as we crop in further I plan on using this setup right here in order to view different stones and their final finishes uh, in future videos. And then finally, here's that same 24 megapixel cropped image versus the 90x lupe view. It's cold. It's cold. It's so cold. So let's talk about the setup that I'm using to film these close-ups. I've had a lot of people ask about this, like more than 50 on just one video. So I figured I might as well show it because so many of you have asked. So the setup I'm using is a Sony A6400. It is using a 5X Laowa 
25 millimeter f2.8 macro lens and I'm also using a small HD external monitor to aid in focusing. I use this monitor all the time just so that I, uh, it's just easier to uh, record video using an external monitor, but this monitor is crucial for focusing. Focusing these super close up macro lenses is very, very difficult. Your focus plane or the area that's in focus, meaning if this is out of focus on one, one end of the spectrum, this is out of focus on the other, that focus plane is somewhere in the middle that might only be like a millimeter wide with some of these uh, close-up macros so focusing is really difficult speaking of focusing one of the things that i have to aid in focusing is this i don't know who makes this but it's a special focusing macro uh tripod mount that as you turn this it moves the camera physically back and forth to aid in focusing because this this lens here, this 5X macro, does not have a focus ring. The only way to focus it is to either move the camera closer or farther away from the item that you're trying to keep in focus. Now something else I've had a lot of people ask is how I'm getting such a close image using only a 5X lens, which is this Laowa 5X 25mm f2.8. The answer to that question is really complicated to answer uh, as a whole, but let me give you sort of a summary. Essentially, the 5X is in reference to how big the image is displayed on the camera sensor size. So we're, if we're talking about this particular lens, this is actually a full frame lens. Um, however, it's mounted on an APS-C size sensor, which means we're actually getting, I believe more than five, we're getting 1.5 times 5X magnification ratio because of the smaller sensor size. Now, you can't really compare, you know, a 90X Jeweler's Lupe to a 5X macro lens because they're not rated on the same system. 90X has to be in reference to something. And what is that original datum point? I don't know. Is it one foot away? Are we multiplying this 90 times one foot away? Are we multiplying it 90 times three feet away? Are we multiplying it 90 times 90 feet away? I don't know what that answer is on these things, so I really can't answer this side of the equation for you. It's just a 90X, you know, it's the equivalent of what I just showed you in this video. So we come inside because it is freezing outside if I have not already said so. So I hope this video gives you a good idea of what you can expect when you get one of those jeweler's loops, loupes. No idea how to say it. The only thing that I will mention is definitely get one with an LED. I don't know if they all come with an LED or not, but definitely, definitely get one with an LED on it that um, illuminates whatever you're trying to view because lighting is super important when you're uh, trying to view close-up things. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's so cold in here. It's like zero degrees Celsius.